Welcome to another adventure in making. I need to create a new leather strap for my watch, as my previous one is in pieces after only a year of use. As with any project, I tend to like to figure things out as I go, but I still like having a clear plan in mind before starting any project. I've never worked with leather before, so this seemed like the perfect project to try it out. I got a bunch of scrap leather in this slate blue, which no doubt will pop up in future videos. I'm using a rotary cutter here as it is the sharpest blade I have and it makes a nice clean cut. Design wise, I wanted a narrow, durable band that is actually the correct size for my very small wrist. To maximize durability, the strap is composed of a double layer of leather with a minimum number of joints. The point side of the strap is simply a single strip of leather folded in two and stitched. The two layers are glued to hold in place while stitching. This does add to the overall durability, but the tiny 1-2mm stitches that I'm using here are what actually makes the strap so robust. I'm using the standard tune needle method for stitching this leather, but without an awl, because my needles are sharp enough that with assistance of a pair of pliers, they can easily puncture the leather. The buckle side of the strap has a single join under the keeper loop. The overlapping ends are skived, thinned down with a knife, to create a smooth, even join. Keeper loops are often the first thing to break on any watch strap. Because this strap is fitted specifically to my wrist, I decided to forego the traditional free loop and only have a single stationary keeper loop. This loop is tacked close independently then sandwiched between the other layers and stitched in place. The thread I'm using is a polyester buttonhole thread.
I found the easiest way to keep track of my needles was by using a soft surface that I could stick them into while I was working. I only needed to make a single hole for the buckle tongue, as my wrist does not change sizes. This is actually some of the first footage I've filmed for my channel. I made this watch band over a year ago and have been wearing it daily since, only taking it off to bathe, and that's only because the watch itself is not waterproof. You may have already spotted it in some of my other videos. Here it is right after the strap was completed. And it is interesting to compare it to what it looks like now, over a year later. As someone who previously would manage to wear through a leather watch band to the point it was unfixable nearly every year, I am so happy to have made a band that can actually hold up under my rigorous use. If you're interested in seeing more content like this, please like and subscribe.